Hi there, in the last video I explained how to work out the equation of the plane containing two lines and in this video I'm going to continue from there and go through an example of how this approach is applied. So let's try an example. So let me call this uh, example number one. Let me underline this. So we're going to find, so the question is to find the equation of a plane, okay, uh, in the form, so in the form R dot N is equal to capital P that contains the lines. So the first line has equation R is equal to I plus J plus lambda, open a bracket, 2I plus 2J minus K. And the second line has equation R is equal to I plus J plus mu open a bracket minus i plus j minus 2k okay so let me go through the method so if we go back remember in the previous video to work out the normal vector of your plane we need to work out the cross product of the direction vectors of your two lines okay so i'm going to call that step number one so in step number one, let's work out the normal vector n. Let's work out m1 cross m2. So I'm going to call the direction vector of the first line, I'll call it m1. And the direction vector of the second line, we'll name that m2. OK. So when working out the cross product, I usually work that out using the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So remember, along the first row, so I hope you can see that, along the first row, we write down the unit vectors i, j, and k. OK? And along the second row, we write down the coefficients of i, j, and k in M1. So the coefficients being 2, 2, minus 1. So 2, 2, minus 1. And along the third row, we write down the coefficients of i, j, and k in M2. So the coefficients being minus 1, 1, and minus 2. So minus 1, 1, minus 2. OK? I usually expand also um, the 3 by 3 determinant using the first row and the signs associated for the first row are plus, minus, and plus. Okay? But it doesn't mean to say that you can't expand using a column, you can expand using rows and columns also. Okay? So n in this case it will be plus i multiplied by the 2 by 2 determinant, whose elements will be so if you cross out the row and column associated with i the first element, the elements of that determinant will be 2 minus 1, 1 minus 2. So 2 minus 1, 1 minus 2, minus j, so minus j, multiplied by the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So if you cross out the row and the column containing j, so the elements in that determinant are 2 minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. So 2 minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. And finally, plus k multiplied by, and if we cross out the row and the column containing k, the elements of that determinant are 2, 2, minus 1, 1. So 2, 2, minus 1, 1. OK. So if we expand further, we're going to have i, open a bracket, 
Remember, when um, calculating a two by two determinant, multiply the elements along this leading diagonal, highlighting in red. So two into minus two is minus four. Then we subtract and then multiply the elements along the lateral green diagonal. So if I multiply the elements along the lateral diagonal, minus one times one is minus one, with that minus becomes a plus one, okay? Minus the J, and if I do the same here, so first multiply the elements along the red leading diagonal, so two times minus two is minus four, minus, and then multiply the elements along the opposing diagonal, highlighted in green, minus one times minus one, plus one, okay? Plus K, open a bracket. Doing the same operation here, multiplying the elements along this leading diagonal in red, two times one, two, minus, and then multiplying the elements along the opposing diagonal, two into minus one is minus two, with that minus becomes plus two. Okay, so if we simplify further, minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3, so minus 3i. Minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5, with minus j is plus 5j. And finally, 2 plus 2 is 4, times k, 4k. So that completes step number 1, that is the normal vector n of our plane, okay? Now, if we go back, we also need to work out capital P. Capital P is A dot N. And remember, we can take A, okay, to be A1 or A2, okay, um, with regards to finding the equation of the plane formed or containing two lines, okay? So let's go to our example here. So in step two, I'm going to take my A, they're both the same in here, so I'm going to take my a to be i plus j. And let me use that to work out capital P. So capital P is a dot n. So a is i plus j. Taking the scalar product of that with n, answer to step 1, minus 3i plus 5j plus k. So if we take that scalar product, so if I multiply the coefficients of i first, 1 times minus 3 is minus 3, plus multiplying the j coefficients, plus 1 times plus 5 is 5, plus multiplying the k coefficients, I have no k component here, so 0 times 4 zero. So further to that, if I simplify, minus three plus five is plus two. So that is the answer for the scalar p, okay? So once you've done that, the last step, step number three, is to substitute into the equation of the plane formula. So remember, equation of the plane had the formula in scalar product form r dot n equals capital P, okay? And if we substitute what we know from above into this formula, we're gonna have r dot normal vector is minus three i plus five j plus four k, and that's equal to P, answer of step two, two, okay? So, that completes this example, and these are the steps involved in order to work out the equation of the plane formed or containing two lines, okay? So that also ends the video. So I hope you found this video helpful. Do related practice problems, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.